So, good morning everybody. Sorry I haven't put any uh, fossil hunting videos on because I, I haven't been fossil hunting. There's just been slim pickings, we haven't had any major storms, there's not much coming out the cliffs. So there's no point in me driving up there an hour and a half. Having a look around, not finding very much. Coming back, another hour and a half. So, I'm, uh, it's been a while since I've done a prep video, so I'm going to do a prep video. And it's on this nodule just here. This nodule just fell out the cliff. And these are the sort of nodules you want to be looking for. It shouldn't take too long to prep, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, it just fell out the cliff. And I thought, right, it might contain a Dactyloceros. Or maybe a Pseudo or something like that. But uh, when I give it a little tap with a hammer, it revealed a Jurassic fossil. And it was one of the uh, fossils that I wanted actually. I do like these. And it's a Hildy. Um, I have prepped another Hildy, which I'll show you. But it didn't come out quite as well because the uh, outer well was crushed. But hopefully, against hope perhaps, this one might be, uh, might be full. And if it is, it'll be a right little cracker. I'll give you a closer look now. So here's the uh, the nodule, and can you see where the ammonite is? Just poking out of there. It's very iron pyrite, but you can see there's a piece of a hildy sticking out of there. There you go. You can see the uh, the hildy sticking out of there. Now I'm hoping this is whole. Because if it is whole, it will be an absolute cracker. So, we'll do a time lapse video on this fossil. And uh, I'm hoping it's all going to be there. And it will be a nice hildy for the collection. So let's, uh, let's start prepping it. Right, so it's going well, okay. Up to now, it seems to be all here. You can see the beautiful keel coming out around there. It's very hard iron pyrite. So I've changed from my uh, chisel tip, which didn't seem to be doing much, to my uh, stronger tip. 
and uh, it seems to be coming off I've been on it about an hour now so looking nice though looking nice Well, as I'm getting this further and further down with the uh, with the prepping, it is damaged. It has been crushed from here, and it looks like that middle bit there has also been crushed, which has uh, just come up here, which is not great. But you never know when you uh, start prepping. You never know whether it's going to be a good specimen or a bad one but I should continue prepping down and see what happens hopefully it's not too badly crushed but um, yeah I mean it's unique in its own way because uh, that's what happens in fossilization things get crushed so we shall continue prepping and see what we've got
Right, so I'm pleased to say that we have a middle in this Hildy. And I've been on this project five hours now. And just got this little bit of rock to remove. But it has been crushed in fossilisation. But I'm hoping it's not crushed anymore because I could probably get away with that. And uh, we've got a beautiful Hildoceros out of this nodule. And I don't even think I need to coat it with Paraloid because once I wet it, I think it looks good just as it is. So my empire right there, fool's gold. But this looks like it, uh, it could be quite nice. So we'll continue with the prepping and uh, see what we've got. So here we have my Hildy with all the matrix completely removed. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought because this bit just around here, the mouth border, it's still there. It's slightly being crushed in fossilization just on this side here, but it's a nice specimen. And it's got to be between four and five inches, and that's a, a nice big Hildy. All I've got to do now is I'm going to make a mouth border here for it and then we're going to grind it and I think what I'm going to do is it's got most of its shell on I'm going to leave it like that without uh, putting any paraloid on and I think that'll look quite nice nice Hildy right everybody um, we've uh, done a little bit of grinding on the uh, specimen and it's a quite nice hildy. It's been crushed in fossilization, but it's not too bad. It could have been worse. So there we go. That's a nice uh, hildy in a nodule. Like I say, it has been slightly crushed around this area, but I've given it a, a mouth border and it looks okay, doesn't it? So there's only one thing to do now, and that's wet it and see what it looks like wet. I think it'll look nice. Uh, I also think it looks nice just as it is. So I don't think it really needs to be putting a uh, paraloid on it. But uh, yeah, it's quite a nice specimen. Took me around about six hours to prep. Now, if I hadn't have prepped it and just whacked it with a hammer, it would have probably broke because it had been squashed. But doing it the way, uh, way I did it, it's all intact. So let's have a look at it, see what it looks like wet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some water on the specimen and see what it looks like. We've got a jug of water over here and a toothbrush and let's uh, see what it looks like. So all I'm going to do is just put some water on the specimen, which is what I'm doing now, and we'll hopefully be able to see some really nice colours off this Hildy. It has got a bit of iron pyrite in it. There we go. You see that? Let me just get it up close. There we go. That's what it looks like when it's wet. I think I pre prefer it when it's dry because we can uh, see the iron pyrite coming through. But it looks nice though, doesn't it? Nice hildy. And it's uh, quite a large one as well. So I'm quite happy with that because this is my uh, biggest Hildy that I found. So if you've liked this video please like and subscribe and hopefully I shall be getting out doing a bit of fossil collecting in a couple of weeks. Like I said I haven't been because there hasn't been any rough storms. It's been quite warm and there's not very much being found at the minute. So but uh, hopefully we'll get out in a couple of weeks and uh, hopefully find some more good finds. Thanks for watching.